I've been getting this question a lot lately. Why do just a few genes make such a huge difference? Take, for example, the gene that causes cystic fibrosis. If you have one copy of the gene, you're fine. Two copies, you get sick. Or the gene that causes sickle cell anemia. One copy, you're fine. Two copies, you get sick. But it's not just these genes. There are thousands of other genes out there where having two copies of the same gene makes you sick. But why? Why do we need two copies of the bad gene to make us sick? And why do you and T, we just inherit one copy of the bad gene from each parent and be sick? Well, it turns out that most of our genes, 99% of them, are not on our sex cro- They're on these things called auto- And we have two copies of every autosim. One from mom, one from dad. So if we inherit a bad version of a gene on an autosim from one parent, we usually have a backup copy from the other parent. That's why we're not sick. But there are some genes, like the ones on our sex chromosomes, that we only have one copy of. And so, if we inherit a bad version of those genes from one parent, we will be sick. Because there's no backup, no second chance. That's why, for these rare diseases, one copy of the bad gene is enough to make us sick. If you learned something new, hit the like button.